Older Dating Show, brought to you by OlderDatingOnline.com. Uh, are you into your sport, Debbie? Um, some sports, yeah. I like gymnastics, I like badminton, I love table tennis. <laughs> <laughs> Table tennis, yes. right? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a yeah. good one. Um, I just want to talk about dating and sport because sport p- plays a big part in uh, in a lot of people's lives, doesn't yeah. it? Oh, um, yes. Just Leicester City. Wow, Leicester City. I mean, you know, they're my team. They're your team, and you were quite lucky, were you not? Well, I did put a fifty p bet on them at the beginning of the season in August, wow. and so yes. I it's come good. It's come good. <laughs> so yeah. Well done, you. I know. Coffee's on you. Uh, no. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean Leicester City. It shows a you know small team, not much money, not not very sort of fancied, and um, they went on and won the greatest sort of title ever, I suppose, in, in English their football. W- first time for them in their 132 year history. Yeah. It's a fairy story. It is, and the whole of the country is getting behind Leicester City, the Foxes. The foxes. The foxes. Mm -hmm. Um, But let's look at um, dating and sport. Um, Do you think, um, if you are sports mad, that you should really tell your potential other partner (laughs) about your your fascination with sport? Well, um, I think your interests you always have to discuss, don't you? That's a a point of uh, communication, isn't it? If if you both like football, for example... Yep. fantastic first date yeah absolutely brilliant um and maybe, so, maybe don't turn up wearing a football shirt <laughs> yeah yeah i mean it's if you both like football if you're both on the same team yeah. in fact then it's a perfect opportunity to chat casual setting um buzzy atmosphere cheering on the same team if if you do yeah. and uh, you know hopefully get a beer and a snack or something together and a, a nice relaxed atmosphere lovely for a first date but not so good if you're weeping because your team have lost <laughs> <laughs> but it's also if you move it on it's um, not on the first date maybe but on the second or third date it might be a good date to go to a sporting event do like think- possibly a football match or horse racing <gasps> Oh, well now in the summer in the now, summer surely that's a good date <laughs> well i think rod that you have a reason behind that one as well i do yeah tell me I about do. that i do well i bought a little bit of a share in a racehorse which bit do you own uh sort of one hoof at the back <laughs> a very small share <laughs> okay. but it's a, yeah it's a passion of mine yes but i think that would be a really good date to take somebody on to go in the summer sun, have a glass of wine. Beautiful. And watch some horse racing. Great fun. So and again, that's... another kind of happening atmosphere. And the focus isn't on the two of you. Yeah. I think that's You've got something really important. to do, haven't yes. you? Yes. So you can gamble, lose yep. all your money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about other sports, do you think? Do you think they're good for going on dates with? Um... I haven't even given that any thought, Rod. <laughs> but I do have a joke about football. Can I right. tell you my joke? Yeah, go for it. Okay. What's the difference between the England team and a tea bag? I don't know. The tea bag stays in the cup longer. Thanks, Derry. The Dating Show, brought to you by OlderDatingOnline.com.